I made this set of gears and I'm going to show you how easy it is to design with Fusion 360. Hey guys, I'm Jacques. I'm going to show you how to use Fusion 360 to design these gears. How to make a couple tries, I made long teeth, I made shorter teeth, until I find an easy and accurate way to design those ones. It's easy and the best part, there's no add-on needed. Here's a quick slideshow of the process. So I'm going to start making a gear tool, add in script, spur gear, run. I'm going to make model 5, 12 teeth, 1mm backlash, 0 root filler, minus 10 for the gear thickness. So it's a bit below the start plane, 60mm hole, that's it. Expand this, delete what I don't need. I just need that first tooth. Make a sketch on top of that tooth. Line for the pitch radius, 30 millimeters. And then a line from that point and a line at the root of the tooth here. If it sticks there. Okay. Now I'm going to go move copy. I'm going to rotate, select rotate, select that axis, turn 45 degrees. I'm going to do a new sketch and find out the apex. That's going to be 30 millimeters here. Uh, just a line for the axis at the bottom. Make a square, 30 millimeter square, from the root radius to the apex, and then the diagonal. Okay. I'm going to do a sketch on the rotated tooth from that point to the to the crown that's five millimeters because it's module five and another line to the root of the tooth and a line across the root of the tooth finish the sketch I'm going to do a new plan who goes I'm going to use that line that I just made Now I have four sketches, so I'm just going to put them some name. The first one is the origin tooth. Click on it, rename, origin T. Second one is going to be the section. Third one, it's the bevel tooth. Fourth one is going to be the back of the gear. So I have the section sketch selected. I want to find the height between the back and the first plane I have. Make sure I'm square. Okay. Then put a dimension here. Now I can make a line from that center of the root of the tooth to the axis then trim that little bit of line left. Now the back of the gear. Center point, put a circle to the root of the tooth. Okay. Now the fancy stuff. I'm going to do a loft, so I'll select that face of the first tooth then make sure I make new body okay and then I can delete turn off the first gear first tooth 
I'm going to do a circular pattern. Make sure I have a body. Select the body, select the axis, put 12. Now I have my 12 teeth, but 12 teeth, it's also 12 bodies for now. Now I'm doing another loft, select that back circle, turn on that sketch, section sketch, make loft, and here I'm going to join. And now I only have one body. Save. Now I'm going to do some revolve, but I need to finish that section sketch. So select the select the section sketch. I'm going to add some lines here. root of the teeth, I mirror that line, carve the, another line, turn them into, I'm going to put 10 millimeter thickness to the root of the tooth, and then put that line here to cut out, and go out over there, that's fine, and a little triangle down here, and show you why later on. Okay, that's it. Fi okay, finish sketch. Now select create, revolve, select those profiles. That's the little thing I want to show. Okay, select the axis, cut, and then there's the gear. So one more thing I want to do is make a hole in that gear. So I go back to the back gear sketch, put the circle, 16 millimeters, okay, finish the sketch, find that circle again, okay, there it is, select that circle, extrude, Make a hole, okay, and then a little bevel, okay, that's the gear. Now how does this gear going to mesh with the other one? So I'm going to go back to that sketch, just show that I have 20 millimeters from the top of the gear to the apex, okay, go back to the gear, I'm going to move, copy, select the body, Make put the center on the top, create a copy, don't forget that, 20 millimeters, 20 millimeters up, rotate, minus 90 degrees, then rotate 15 degrees. Okay, and there it is. Here, how it, how it meshes together. Remember, I have some backlash, so that's why there's a little bit of space here on the back side. One millimeter backlash. Okay, that's it. Gear is finished. I hope you liked the video, please like, subscribe and thank you for watching.